Hello everyone. So in this episode of uh, Planet Generator System, I am going to show you how to use this height range for foliage types in a Planet Foliage Spawner. So here as you can see, the height range is set to 1000 meters to 30,000 uh, units to 30,000 units. That height is considered from the sea level of the planet so here if I change this to 0 to something like 5000 save and spawn foliage again now here you can see the foliage is spawned closer to the sea level in the planet that would be true for all around the planet now, similarly, if I change this, let's say 10,000 to 20,000, and I'm not sure if I have the 10,000 height. Ah, yeah, we do. See, now the foliage is limited to this high mountainous areas in the planet. So, yeah, this is what we are going to work on today placement parameters, the height range, how to use it in a planet landscape. And before we get started, I'd like to remind you, you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that I have done. Once you become a member in the Patreon page, feel free to check it out. I'll leave the link in description below. And let's get back to today's tutorial. So as you can see here, now you can see the trees are spawned even in water right see so it at the moment it's just place wherever uh, I give the point and it's just only a random probability so instead of that what I want is uh, I want to use placement parameters actual placement parameters and the first thing is from how uh, at what height this tree should spawn so in a flat landscape it would be it we can directly define the height from the z axis maybe 0, 0.0 and along z axis whatever the height value or whatever the height range we need but when we consider a planet height means the distance from the center uh to the surface point uh so it would be like this if we are considering a point like this it would be this way so what we can do is here if i open this foliage type here we have this height range 500 to 2000 under placement parameters um and one more thing i'm not sure if you have to still enable experimental procedural foliage type that oh i haven't enabled that so yeah good okay so how do we use this height so i'm gonna consider the planet's radius that would mean this water sphere the radius of water sphere equal to the planet's radius in my planet system so let me open the planet blueprint and then i already have this radius value so from the radius value here as i said we are just using a random boolean now instead of that let me give a reference to this foliage type well I want it to be a parameter so I'll drag a line like this the reason that I want to make it a parameter is because later on we will have multiple foliage types so therefore creating this as a function would be helpful uh, maybe in this case a macro also would work so I'll call this placement para parameters Pla 
placement parameter can I rename this placement parameter check okay now here I get the foliage type okay and then from this I think I can access height yeah and split so we can get min and max so now oh one more thing I need to pass the position as well so here yeah, I'll add a float I'll call it point height well not exactly height the distance from the center so yeah and in a way it's height considering a parameter so considering a planet so point height would be oh here we don't really calculate so I'll just pass it as a vector and call it point I thought I already calculated the distance okay now we can consider the length of this vector and then I can subtract this to vector length subtract from planet radius and then I can check in range is there in range yeah I can check if this value is within this range whatever the max and whatever the mean if that is true so well I'll also keep the randomization as well for now later on we might need something like a seed density only if these conditions are true I can spawn trace now here to 500 to 2000 I'm not sure if I have that height range in this planet but let's see spawn foliage yeah I do and here as you can see so now I only have these trees in this range not in like here not in high mountain peaks and also not in lowest like sea level I think I should define a different category for foliage stuff yeah Oh, we can't have a category now. I was thinking of assigning a category like this, but for events we don't have it. Okay, uh, one more thing. I'll also add a custom event here for the edge. This also I won't be able to call in editor. And then, um, yeah, I have this. I S O foliage. Where is it? Yeah. Check if it is valid. If yes, here instances. And also, I'll call that here. Because if I want to try spawning second time, I think it would be better if I clear the original instances first. Okay, great. Now we have spawn foliage, and it foliage spawns like this, and then clear foliage to clear it up. So now if I want, I can here change the height range. Uh, if I make it 1000 to 5000. 
save and spawn fish okay so it still works uh, but don't get much in the middle so maybe we might need something more than that 30,000 let's see yeah see now we get a lot more trees in the middle okay cool so that's how you define the height range in a planetary environment in a planetary landscape for tree spawning and i'm going to stop this episode right here next time we are going to look into how to cluster these spawned trees so thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available for the download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and see you in another episode goodbye